Our family loves reading Christmas books together. So today I'm going to share a few of our favorites. I recently shared a video about how we celebrate St. Nicholas Day, and so here are three of the books that we have that we like to read on that day. The first one is this little tiny book called St. Nicholas and the Three Poor Girls, and so it's just a quick story telling about St. Nicholas and how he gave the gold coins to the girls for their dowry. This is a fun one to read with the kids because it's so colorful and the story is nice and short. The next one is The Miracle of St. Nicholas, and this is not exactly a story about St. Nicholas Day, but it's a story about a boy, and he lives in a town where the people do not go to church. And so he asks his babushka all about it, and he says, why is the church closed? And she tells him all that happened that made the church closed. And he decides on his own that he's going to go in there and he's going to clean up the church and get it ready so that everyone can come there to celebrate Christmas. It's a really beautiful story. I love this one. I would highly recommend it. And last is The Legend of St. Nicholas. This is a really great book. This one's fun because it has such great illustrations in it. And it just goes through the story of St. Nicholas. And there's lots of fun historical things in here and some just tales that have been passed down from person to person. And it goes through his entire life from the day that he was born all the way through some of his miracles. And then here where he becomes the bishop and all the way to Christmas, talking about some of the traditions there. And then at the very end is the prayer to St. Nicholas. The next set of books are all about the nativity. So the very first one that we have here is another one of these cute little books. It's called The Gift of the Magi. And obviously it tells the story of when the Magi saw the star in the sky and they go over to Jesus. And it's the little cute little story here that we really like. The next one is The Nativity of Our Lord. And this is from a set called The 12 Great Feasts for Children. And then this one talks about, obviously, the feast day of the Lord is celebrated on December 25th. And this is the Treparian from the Orthodox Church. And this one, I love all these books because they rhyme. So it says, be glad, be glad, for on this day the virgin in a manger lays her newborn son, an infant small, and worships him as God of all. And so this entire book rhymes and has really beautiful hand-drawn painted illustrations. And we really like this one, too. And then at the very back, it tells you all about the series. So you can see all the other books that are in this series. The next one is Born on Christmas Morn. And this one is perfect for little kids. I love the Arch books. That's a really great publisher. Again, this one rhymes. So come, my dear children, gather round. I'll tell you a story that's true of how God our Father sent his son in love as a savior for you. And so it goes through, obviously, the whole story of the nativity the angels, and then there's Jesus being born. And then it actually goes all the way to the end telling about what's going to happen in Jesus's life. Here's another good story of the nativity. This one is a little bit lengthier than some of the other ones, but once again, it's got beautiful pictures. It tells the whole story. And like I said, this one's a little bit longer, but it's got really great pictures to kind of captivate the children. The next book is Away in the Manger, and this one's illustrated by Thomas Kincaid. So you can assume that these illustrations are going to be absolutely gorgeous. And so this one just follows the lyrics of the song Away in a Manger. And then there's a, for each line, there's a different illustration. So this one's really beautiful. And this one's fun too, because you can sing it with the children while you're looking through the book. The first book that I'm going to share with you from this set is Celebrating the 12 Days of Christmas. Now, if you don't know, the 12 Days of Christmas actually begins on Christmas Day. So here it explains to you all about the 12 Days of Christmas, and then there's some activities that you can do for the whole season. Then it actually begins on Christmas Day, and it gives you all of this information and then some activities that you can all do together. And it goes through every day giving you things to do. So it makes it really simple if you would like to continue the Christmas tradition all the way through the 12 days of Christmas, which end on Epiphany or Theophany, which is the day that Christ was baptized and the day that the Magi came. And I've included some little coloring pages in here for the kids and things that I want to do with them. So this is a really great one. It's got so many fun projects in it and just things that you can do as a family or with your younger children or older children. And it's just really, really great. There's recipes too at the back. This next book is called St. Francis and the Nativity. And this is a story with St. Francis and this little boy. His name is Mario. And St. Francis teaches Mario all about the Christian faith. 
And one of the things I love are the illustrations. Look how gorgeous they are. They're so colorful and beautiful. I just, I really love the illustrations. So Brother Mario, I mean, not Brother Mario. So Brother Francis talks to Mario while he's in town. And Mario takes the things that he learns from Brother Francis and kind of just thinks about them. He loses one of his sheep and Brother Francis finds this cave where the sheep was. And he says that it looks like a wonderful place. And so on Christmas Eve, all the people line up and they are able to use that cave to kind of recreate the cave that Mary and Joseph were in when Jesus was born. And so you can see that Brother Francis laid this little kind of statue figure of Jesus in the manger. And throughout the night, hundreds of lights moved up and down the mountain as people came to adore him. So this is teaching the tradition of having a manger within your home. And so this last page here talks all about it, about the different types of things you can use for a manger and things like that. So I thought that was really neat. It's very, very different book. I've never seen anything like this one before. The next book is by Patricia Palaco, who is one of my absolute favorites, and this is Uncle Vova's Tree. And this one's really cute because it's got a lot of animals in it, which my kids always love books that have animals in them. So anyway, um, here's the grandma, and she's decorating the tree, and then they go outside, and they want to go for a sleigh ride. And it's just a really, really fun book for the kids. And then all of the people decorate the tree for the animals. They put little treats on the tree. And anyway, it's just a really cute book all about, you know, just kind of decorating things for Christmas. So anyway, I really like that one. It's really cute. And here is another one that I know is a favorite among a lot of homeschoolers, the miracle, the Christmas miracle of Jonathan Toomey. I'm pretty sure that there is even a movie of this, but we have never seen it. Once again, this is a long, this is a really long book. This one will take you a while to read. I will have all of these books linked to down below for you, but this is a beautiful one to definitely check out. It would take me way too long to explain the whole thing, but um, definitely check out The Christmas Miracle of Jonathan Toomey and see if you can find the movie that goes with it as well. If you enjoy these videos where I share lots of books, please let me know and I can do more of these in the future for you. I can do books for different holidays or different times of the year or different subjects within school, all different kinds of things like that. So just let me know. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season.